Hey guys, Joshua Godamo here, and I've been requested for a while to make a new collection video of my Gundams. And uh, I've kind of dilly-dallied about it because uh, I moved cross-country about about two years ago and uh, had to sell my shelves. And so all I had was makeshift shelves. And uh, yeah, but I finally got shelves. Woohoo! And uh, so I will be doing a Gundam collection video, and here it is. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, this here is my collection, some of it, but this is Bradburn Base. It's a movie set for my stop motion animation series, Gundam Father of Peace. So some of my collection is actually here. I have a, a lot of Type 61 tanks, a lot of them. I'm always trading Gundam parts and whatnot for Type 61 tanks. So we'll cover Bradburn Base first. You have a Dom version 2, one of my favorites. There's two ground type GMs inside our uh, mobile suit hanger. This is a Japanese goof. Another Dom version 2. Japanese Zaku 1. Um, I have a lot of jets. Xeon and, and Federation. And I pretty much just hung them up in here with a uh, fishing line. That's my Xeon flag. I have another Xeon flag over there. And so, uh, yeah, I got a dogfight going on everywhere inside my war room. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go over here next. There's one of my props held up. Musai, Musai. Oh, oh, I have a Gundam Cosmo Fleet from 0079. Right there, a miniature space colony. I have Captain Shar, Omar Ray, and uh, Dozel Zab not Dozel Zabi, uh, Kieran Zabi back there. This is where I keep a lot of my props on these shelves for my series, so, you know. Um, Albion, Lily Marlene, Zacrello, Big Row, that's a Lala's mobile armor. That's a Grab Row, the amphibious mobile armor. I'm currently uh, building it, it's custom. It's kind of a back burner project. Down here I have a Psycho Gundam. I have a custom of mine. And I have a Gallop. This is a customized Gallop. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's customized for a scene from Gundam Father Apiece, Episode 2. So yeah, that's my Gallop. Totally uh, modified on the inside. There's a Grand Gundam. The Zorn from Gundam Father of Peace, a Zaku tank I'm working on, Wolf Gundam, a uh, custom I'm working on, um, GM Cannon mass production, Gunbuster, somebody else built. That's a uh, Juog in the works, Rick, or Rick Dom version 2, mass production gun tank, Zaku Sniper, Zorn version 2. I always got customs in the works. GM Command that I'm working on building actual collection stuff now. Um, GM Sniper 2 from the Robot Spirit line, my only Robot Spirit. This is an L game, MSIA, Turn A. All three of the Thrones from Gundam 00. Two of these guys. Um, you can see I have everybody from Gundam 00 except for the one that turns into a jet. Curios. I don't have Curios yet, but I have Virtue and Axia and another Virtue and Dynamis and Nodley for what it's worth. Let's see, I have Extended Justice up here now. It's hard for me to reach. So I have another Justice up there as well. And there they go. Um, I think that one's Providence. Extended uh, Infinite Freedom? Those are Infinite Justice. Um, I don't have Justice yet. Um, Desert Tigers mobile suit, another guy, there's a Blaze White Zaku, there's the Blue Guff, Green Zaku with the Gunner Warrior, a couple blue frame bodies from customs I've built for the Oxel, there's a Deactive Strike and a uh, Strike Rouge. I'll get the Strikes later, I can get them fairly easily. Um, Blitz, I think. Duel. Another duel back there. That one's a Japanese duel. 
I have Japanese red frame, a Japanese blue frame, and Providence. That one's Providence. I can't remember his name. Anyways, um, yeah. So that covers those. Big Zom. Let's go with Xeon. Just making sure there's nothing else to cover. Just a Blue Destiny figure. Oh, oh, super rares. Got the Shining Gundam translucent. Not terribly rare, but cool. And I have a pre-production Tall Geese 2. Yeah, look at that. Beam Saber handles are blue. And what's that? Power Rangers Rescue? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, this is like a, a pre-production. Not released in stores, but came from through... Passed uh, two hands before it got me, or at least one other set of hands, but somebody who actually worked for Bandai got that, and then sold it, and then I got it. And it's authentic. Um, this is a custom of mine. He doesn't actually have a name yet. I did give him a name, but it turns out Zog Zogok is already a mobile suit. Now it's Japanese gun, can gun tank, gun tank, Zoccarello Japanese, not Zoccarello, um, Sock. Zok Japanese. Battle Scarred Zok. Pretty cool. Regular Zok. One, two, two Japanese Ock guys, one American Ock guy. The very rare blue, blue Gog. Japanese Gog. My American Gog missing an arm. A customized Gog. And another American Gog. This is a custom Zagok, so he has gray limbs instead of blue. Japanese Char Zagok, Japanese Zagok, and then three more regular Zagoks. Two Zommels. Um, I have several of this guy. I don't even think all of them are on my shelf. So uh, I think I have like six extent. I know I have at least three of these extended regular green Zaku 2s. And I have a little, little model kit there. This is a Xeon Transport. There's a Battle Scarred Zaku that I use as a prop. Zaku 2 version 2, Zaku 2 version 2, Zaku 2 version 2, Zaku 2 version 2, extended Zaku 2, extended Zaku 2 with uh, mixed parts with the real type. So it's torso's real type. Um, this video's gonna be a little long. <laughs> um, there's a uh, Dormazabi Zaku 2, another regular Zaku 2. Here's a, a mixed Zaku 2 between the extended with a customized shield. Razor Zaku 2, character from Gundam Father of Peace. This is uh, another mix Zaku 2. This is my attempt at a Zaku 2 Fritz Helm in the works. Um, that's one that my wife built, custom of hers. My custom Zaku Cannon, Shin Matsunaga's Zaku 2 version 2, Dolzazabi Zaku 2 version 2, another um, of that guy, and uh, one Black Tristar Zaku 2 version 2, knockoff Zaku 1, I have a couple of those. This is my uh, missile Zaku, a little custom I made. This is another custom, the Blue Blaze Zaku 1. He has a high mobility backpack on him. Three um, Desert Zaku 2s. One's customized with two spike shoulders. Zaku 2, Zaku 2 Japanese, Zaku 2 Japanese, Zaku 2 with regular Zaku 1 shoulders. Zaku 2, Zaku 2 needs a shield. And another Zaku 2. And those are version 1s. Zaku 2 real type from the deluxe box set and then a customized version because uh, I got him without any shoulders so I gave him shoulders from another Xeon toy. Three Black Chester Zaku 2's version 1's Shin Matsunaga Zaku 2 version 1 Johnny Raiden High Mobility Zaku 2 Japanese and American. Char first release American Char first release Japanese Char red version American Char um, Tetsu Toys version. Then there's Char version 2 and the extended Char. Now Zaku 1, whose head is off on a custom somewhere. Zaku 1, another mixed Zaku 1. I like him. 
Battlescar Zaku 1, Battlescar Zaku 1, another mixed Zaku 1, and uh, Zaku 1 Black Tri Stars. Desert Dom, slower custom being pieced together. I'm going to customize him at some point when I get another hand. And uh, this is my Rick Dom version 2. Or not version 2, sorry. Rick Dom 2 from Gundam 0083. He's a custom I built. Shoulders are a little shiny, so I'm probably going to repaint him a little bit. But he's got five boosters underneath there and extra fuel tanks. Three Japanese Dom version 1s. Desert Dom, Desert Dom, Desert Dom. Yeah, three of those. Then a uh, custom Desert Dom. Pretty awesome. Kind of like a Dom Foomf or something like that. Dom version 2, Dom version 2. This is actually my buddy's. It's a Rick Dom version 2. There's the uh, uh, Okawara Dom version 1. That's Colin Zaku 2 after or Zaku Tank after seeing some battle. There's a Xeon painted Funsaiki. Thought I might try and use that in the series, maybe. But I uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like something to drag damage mobile suits off the battlefield. I don't know. I have an army of Xeon tanks, quite proud of them. Extended goof, extended goof, extended goof, extended goof. There's a Japanese goof custom in here, and then there's two more goof customs. American Guff damage slightly. American Guff, Japanese Guff, Okawara's Guff. Oh, two Desert Guffs. Colin's original um, Zaku 1, or Zaku 2. Japanese Battle Scarred Zeong. American release Battle Scarred Zeong, Zeong, Zeong. Goku Cannon times 4 extended. Then there's Johnny Ryan's extended Gelgoog. Char's extended Gelgoog. Um, Herbert von Kospin's extended Gelgoog, Gato's Gelgoog, my uh, custom Battle Scarred Shars Gelgoog, uh, Gel two Gelgoog cannons, and another Gato. Japanese Guff version 1, Shar Guff version 1, and a American release Guff version 1 who stole this guy's backpack just for fun. Four Zudas. Um, there's my, a third Zommel cannon just floating around. Here's a little custom I made once and uh, threw him just to... He's not really that great, but um, I think I was off to a good start and then... I don't know, I didn't, when I built him I had very few parts. I was off at college and he was the only Gundam I had. I bought the Zebra Gundam and I was desperate to turn him into something less stupid. So, you know, he's a victory in that regards. Just not great. Japanese Gien, Gien, two Japanese um, campfers, and an American release camphor, and my custom battle scarred camphor. Get this guy out of the direct light. Come on, camera. You can do it. Focus. Yes, good camera. Yeah, look at that. He's been shot to hell. I tried to make it look just like it did in the series. Down here, I have some. Uh, I have my foot. Hello, foot. Now, down here I have some uh, Z Robotech Destroids, just for fun. Japanese Maxter. Battle Scarred Shining Gunnam. Japanese Bolt Gunnam. I have to fix his shoulder. Japanese Shining Gunnam. Japanese Dragon Gunnam. Japanese Rose Gunnam. Then uh, the Walter Gunnam. I have a full armored new Gunnam. A Japanese Jagan and an American Base Jabber. Um, destroyed Xeon horse you know because uh, obviously that one would have to die so have a destroyed body for it for my animations and uh, Japanese yeah I do yep he's Japanese burning Gundam I also have a Japanese noble Gundam that's not shown here and I have a Japanese extended Zeta on its way to me <sighs> okay Green Leo, Purple Leo, Purple Leo, Green Leo, Blue Leo, Purple Leo. I used to have a lot more, but I traded them. So I'll probably get three of each again, eventually. Epion version 1, Japanese Tall Geese 1, Japanese Tall Geese 2, Tall Geese 3. Three Japanese Mogonox and a fourth one, just for fun. Shenglong version 2, Shenglong version 1, Ultron, or I'm sorry, Ultron version 2, Ultron version 2, 1. Shenglong. 
and Nataku. Sandrock version one, Sandrock um, custom. I'm trying to get out lean funny to get in here because my chair is in the way. That's the famous Wing Zero version two. Japanese Wing Gundam version one, Wing Gundam version two, Death Scythe Hell version two, Bellscar Wing Zero custom, uh, version two Wing custom, Wing Gundam. I'm Brobby, this guy who's big. Um, Gates pilots it, I remember that much. Um, the O, there's a Titan unit, test type, Hazel, GP01 full burning battle scar, Japanese release, an American, GP02 Japanese battle scar, an American regular. An American Battles Guard, there's a gun cannon, GM Cannon 2, there's this brown guy, I'm not up to date on all my Zeta names, so you to forgive me. There's a Galbity Beta, there's my Barb from my buddy, Hyzok, Extended, Mark 2, that's mine. Then there is, man. I know all these by heart, but sometimes when you're filming the video, they just kind of slip your mind. That guy! Yep, Sharp Peloton. And that guy! Another guy Peloton. Then there's the uh, regular um, Hazel. Mark 1, or Mark 2 version 1, Mark 2 extended, Zeta, double Zeta version 1. I think there's only a version 1 of him. There's uh, extended Hayaku Shiki, version 1 Hayaku Shiki. Uh, Zeta version 1, then there's that yellow thing that FA pilots and it sucks, but you know, I got it. I'll get to my favorite customs next. Only this guy's not a custom, that's a uh, version 2. Um, well, not version 2. So I'm trying to get all these said so fast, it just kind of jargons and jumbles. Um, the real type color gun tank, or gun cannon. Man, he's pretty rare. The Oxal Gundam, he's my custom that I use in Gundam Father of Peace, and so he's my favorite. It's my Ki Kyoto Bashi Chain Base or Machine Nest, because I know you guys are going to ask, that's what they're called. Machine Nest, Chain Base, Kyoto Bashi, something like that. This is my GMD type. He hasn't been painted yet, but he's in the works. I also have a GM version 1.5. Made out of a Gundam 1.5. Um, he's being painted at the moment. This is something that I'm working on. This is my amphibious GM. This is just another custom. Um, Black Death Forces GM. Um, for the last episode of Gundam Father of Peace. Helps protect the nuclear strike balls. Part of the Black Death Forces. This is my GM... What do I call this? Not GM Custom, because obviously that's taken. Um... GM Special Forces, that's right. Yeah, this is a custom design of mine. This is one that my wife built. Another GM Special Forces alternate color. Come on, camera, focus. GM Cannon. I like him. All right. Battle Scar Gun Cannon, Japanese Gun Cannon, no number, Japanese Gun Cannon, no number, Gun Cannon 109, Gun Cannon 109 Japanese, another real type Gun Cannon. Oh, I didn't know I had two of those. Sweet. Alright, Easy 8, Battle Scar Easy 8, Karen's GM head, three ground type Gundams, one, two, complete. Two complete GM snipers, one with alternate shoulders as replacements. Three desert ground type Gundams. He needs a shoulder. I think I have one. Just need to get it on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the two over on Bradburn base. Ten ground type GMs, and I have one through nine also. Here's another custom of mine. Uh, some of my army of stuff. Balasgar ground type Gundam. This is my uh, laser tank. Kind of cool, another custom. Gun tank, gun tank, who's uh, really horribly damaged. 
and I'll use him in Gundam Father of Peace, my stop motion animation series. I got him that way, only I will end up battle scarring him um, in real time stop motion, if you will. So he gets shot and I'll do damage and he'll get shot and I'll do damage, you know, and I'll take a picture each time and so it'll actually look like he's taking damage in animation. And so I'm not wasting a perfectly good gun tank for that, I'm using a tore up one, so it'll be pretty cool. Um, real type gun cannon, or gun tank. Real type gun tank. Gun tank that needs some arms because I stole them for a custom for the Juog. GM version 2, or I'm sorry, version GM, and this is the version 2, version 2, version 2, version 2, version 2. Japanese GM, JM, GM, 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 GM. Two gun parries, one 100% complete. G armor parts. Japanese Gundam version 1, Japanese real type Gundam, American release real type Gundam. Gundam um, full armored. Alex Gundam, Japanese Alex Gundam. G05, G04, Japanese version 2 Gundam, version 2 Gundam American. Gundam version 1.5, Battlescar Gundam version, Extended Gundam, Amer Japanese release Battlescar Gundam, and um, Japanese G3, and there's an American G3 back here too. Then there's my Nuclear Strike Ball, one of my customs. Man, I love that thing. Amphibious um, Ball, one of my customs. Um, if you've never read Gundam Skull Heart, the manga, you won't get this, but um, it's a custom that I'm, I'm playing around with the idea of, it's called the Gundam B-Type. This guy uh, puts a Gundam head in front of the face of the ball in order to fool Zeons, and I think it's like a ginormous Gundam. It's kind of funny, really. It ends up getting destroyed, but um, I thought I might make a cameo appearance of it in the last episode of Gundam Father of Peace or something like that. We'll see. Um, I have most of the balls, almost one through nine. This is another version. Um, I actually made it so the cockpit could open, but uh, it's a little tricky. I put these double Gatling guns on there and a accessory arm. I also have like two Japanese balls, I think. And yes, at 22 minutes and 36 seconds, Whew, that covers most of my Gundam collection. I guess there's a couple figures over here I haven't put on my shelf yet. This is Japanese Kune's Jagdoga and Japanese Sazabi version 1. And another Grand Gundam with no head. So I'll use him to build the giant monstrosity someday. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. That is my Gundam collection. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to subscribe and to like and to favorite this video because I'm using this awesome collection to make a stop motion animation Gundam series called Gundam Father of Peace. Episode 1 is already done at the making of this video and uh, I'm always making new stuff including Zaku Tanks. Yes, Zaku Tanks. And with this Zaku Tank, Zeon shall win. Catch you guys later.